Hey there, everybody. It's Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and today we're going to be continuing along our Mirror's Edge Pack Rat walkthrough, uh, which is to get the 30 hidden bags throughout the game. We're going to be doing levels 3 through 5 today. Level 3 Heat is right in front of us. Uh, this is going to be one of those uh, packages that's kind of hard to miss. I apologize in advance. I had a recording glitch and wasn't able to actually record myself getting the package, but I will show you where it is. And I'll even give you a fancy arrow so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I promise it'll be there when you go to find it. I would never lie to you. You mean too much to me. Okay, moving along. The second package, which I actually got out of sequence, so it's going to flash up as the third, uh, is on this building, which is right under the two big cranes. I missed it the first time, so I think it's actually pretty easy to miss. Just make sure that when you get to a bluish, shadowy building, you uh, look up and see if those cranes are there. Uh, speaking of the cranes, the third package is located on the second crane. After you do your action movie hero style jump and then you drop down to this conveniently located bag, you're going to want to jump on this second crane and the story's not going to tell you to. They want you to keep running the other way. So be sure that you take the time to do this. And if you do, you'll be rewarded. And obviously, uh, you should not go left like I just did. That's the wrong way. Turn around here and go to the right. I'm a little embarrassed by that. I just did it on the other crane, so you'd think I would have learned. But, um... I'm not a very fast learner. Anyway, moving along here, you'll see there it is, our package. And when you get 11 packages in this game, they give you an achievement. And they call it Ran Out of Fingers. Let's take a look at that. Yep, yeah, Ran Out of Fingers Unlocked, 30 gamer score, find 11 bags. Okay, level 4, Rope Burn. And I'm not going to tell you why it's called Rope Burn. You'll just have to figure that out for yourself when you play. Um, on one of the many yellow buildings in the game, you're going to come across this area. They're going to want you to go down and go through a door, but instead... Hop onto that uh, fancy red pipe thingy and climb up, take a left, and you're going to be rewarded with... Hmm, what could be over here? I see a glyph on the wall. That's supposed to tell me... Ah, yes, a package. How could I have forgotten? Okay, so I'll pick that one up, and we're moving along. Moving along to the bottom of the elevator shaft. Now, after you get down here and you drop off, they want you to go that way. But instead, if you listen, you'll hear a guy say, Hey, I found her. She's down here. Climb up into his room, then punch him in the face. Bam! Take that sucker, and then come over here and pick up your bag. Couldn't be simpler. Now, moving along... This is probably the hardest package in the game to get. Um, you have to either run across and miss like I did, or swing across. Both are pretty hard to do. I messed up quite a few times, but thanks to user Tony Ski, he showed me a secret. Um, it has been previously believed that once you fall into this room, you have to restart the level, or at least the last portion of the level, because you can't get back up top and it forces you to finish it. But he showed me this way where if you run across this fence just right, do a wall run, then jump, bam, you can grab onto that bar. Now just very slowly turn around here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, there we go. And start swinging, just like an Olympian or a sexual pervert of some kind. Swing, swing. Now I'm getting horny. Swing and grab on. There you go. Now let's hop on up to the next ledge. And we're actually not in the clear yet. It's still kind of a pain in the ass to get this thing, even after we get all the way over here. It's going to be located right here. You saw the little glyph on the left there. It's going to be up here on the right. And for whatever reason, this is a really hard jump to make. It shouldn't be. But once you get to this thing, just to jump right there, you would think it would be the easiest thing in the world. But I'm going to try and fail here a few times. And then I'm going to show you an easy way I figured out how to do it. And it's important to be really conscious of where you are when you're doing this because... When you miss the jump, I actually fell a couple of times and had to go through the whole process again, which is kind of a pain in the ass. You're, like, right on the edge there, so you got to be careful. But what I recommend doing is turning around while running up this guy. I'm like, what? No, I fucked it up. Let's try again. There we go. And now if you just look right, do a little hop up here, you can get that package. Much, much, much easier way to get it than a lot of the things that I've seen online. Uh, moving along to level 5, New Eden... Um, this is pretty early on. I think it's like maybe the second save in the level. You're going to see a, a razor wired in little area. Just jump over to it, grab your package. Very easy to find. It's even got some little doodles on the wall for you. I'll let you read those on your own time. Okay, now this one is also kind of tricky to get. The, the game wants you to go and run under there and go to a door, but instead hop up on this guy, then wall ride or run. I guess it's kind of like a ride over to this thing and look down and get your package right there. Couldn't be simpler. Um, but if you overshoot that jump, you uh, will fall off the building and die. Now, this is another one uh, that you can't miss. Going into the mall, 
um, I think you're in like the loading area of the mall or whatever, you drop down and you see it. So you can't miss that one. Just hop up on your truck and there you go. Check back tomorrow for levels uh, six through whatever, eight. Thanks a lot. Ta-ta. Love you.